Hello and good evening. It's Phil Thatch and Heather and we are here at the Blythe Ferry Osprey Nest in East Tennessee. And it's about 7 o'clock in the evening. The sun goes down in about an hour and 20 minutes. So we've got nice light right on the nest uh, to make some photographs and some video for you. This is the same area where we came uh, on January the 1st to do uh, American White Pelican uh, video. And I'll put a link to that up there or over there. I guess it's over there. And uh, anyway, we're going to get to work on making some photos and videos of this osprey nest. I have never used a camera that is more likely to have sensor dust accumulate. I clean this sensor all the time and there seems to always be a spot. Maybe it's because I use a smaller aperture more often with this camera than any other. Also, I'm using a polarizer in my 500 f4, which I bought, which costs more than some lenses I own and that's really toning down the glare on that water. This is in FX mode, so it's a little further back from the nest. Great light on it. I'm not a huge fan of Canada geese, photos or video, but in the golden hour, like you can see right here, even a Canada goose is really, really beautiful as it swims around the island that is near that osprey nest. Now DX mode, much closer. There's Heather, looks like she's taking honeysuckle pictures and there are the results of that. I did a little bit of editing in Lightroom, mostly what I did is darken the background around the flower, but that's all Heather. So back to DX mode. One of my photography heroes, Arthur Morris, says every bird's nest has one stick too many. I would say that this bird's nest has three sticks too many. So there's the male flying in with what's left of, I think that's a striped bass that it's carrying. Pretty cool shot. And there's the female. Maybe she's trying to move some of those sticks around so I can get some better video of her. This shot is in DX mode as well for a closer up shot. I used that circular polarizer in the 500 F4 for all of this video. Trying to get a little less glare from the setting sun. I think it makes the eyes better to view. Take some of the glare and reflection out of the eyes which makes them look better. It's hard to A, B it, you know, because it takes so long to take that polarizer out. But I feel like, I feel like the eyes look better with less glare. Here's a great blue heron on the island that's right across from the Blythe Ferry area. I thought that was a pretty cool shot. And now we're back to watching Mama on the nest. And once again, the nest has one stick too many. This is one of the few really decent shots I have of the birds coming in and out of the nest. Look at that wingspan. It's getting pretty dark, uh, so there's some motion blur in that shot. And here's both birds on the nest, but I think the male is just about to head on out. I'm going to presume, possibly incorrectly, that there's eggs on that nest because she would not leave. She stayed there, best I could tell, the whole time that we were there. Maybe she left sometime when I was paying attention to something else, but I don't think so. There's another shot of both birds on the nest. This one I had to crop quite a bit. That's why the picture's not filling the frame here. And there she sits, patiently waiting for either her mate to return or eggs to hatch or the sun to set. And again, I, 
I think the polarizer is helping her eyes look better in this. A lot of times there will be some glare on the eye of a uh, Osprey and it kind of takes away from the look of the photo or video. And it I think she just took a bite of that fish that he brought her. The video clips have been with the Z6, the FTZ adapter, the 1.7 teleconverter, and the VR500 F4G. And I have been uh, switching back and forth between FX and DX mode. DX multiplies all that by one and a half times. So the really up close videos were in DX mode with this setup. And stills have been with the D500 and the 200 to 500 f5.6 for the stills so video with this rig and stills with this rig except for heather's awesome landscape picture which was with this rig an iphone xr she got a honeysuckle picture with it too Okay, so this is my favorite picture of the day. Heather's iPhone photograph of this tree, which has, it looks like, an elbow. I just love the composition that she found. I love everything about this picture. Well, we've been hanging around here uh, since, what time we get here? Seven-ish? And now it's 8.30 or so, sunset about 10 minutes ago. Got some video of mama on the nest, but not much else. I got some photographs of, uh, of the male as it landed at the nest but not very good because it was really uh the light was fleeting so there's a lot of motion blur but uh not much going on heather got a great uh, uh landscape shot with her iphone that i may actually put in this video and i'd also like to mention that you know all of the uh, local photographers from this region uh come here to make photographs of this nest but way back a long time ago the person who originally let me know about this place was brett douglas so uh, thanks to Brett and uh, thanks to you for watching this video. Have a good night. Bye-bye.